Most governments and associations define homeschools as parent or guardian led schooling, which is based in the home. A lot of what that looks like for each student is based on what the parent decides. That's one of the reasons it's difficult to get a full picture of how many children are being homeschooled. Ethan and Emily Tuttle were happy. This looks a lot like school, but these students are homeschooled. Where is that sensory information going to come from? This is a co-op. It's a group of homeschooled families with similar beliefs about education and faith that gather for learning and social opportunities. On the day we visited, the older kids were learning about psychology, the younger kids were learning about insects. Seven-year-old Aurora is in this group. What is this? A larva. This co-op meets once a week. Say big A. Big A. Good job. The rest of the time, Aurora and her family homeschool at home. I've looked up kind of like the basic of like where a child's supposed to be in kind of grade school wise, but I don't, I'm not like hardcore like trying to get them from to know all of this stuff within a year. Mom Heather Beckham decided to homeschool when Aurora was a baby. She likes that her kids can learn at their own pace and that she gets to pick the curriculum. So our biggest um, focus for especially for our homeschooling and our family is I really just want them to have good a good basic foundation of math and reading skills. There might be more families interested in homeschooling. A report by the Washington Post found homeschooling has become America's fastest growing form of education. But whether that rise is taking place in Indiana and Michigan is difficult to know. That's because homeschool registration isn't required in either state and no student data is collected. Is that a cookie? Brittany Proctor and her three children are in that homeschool co-op. The flexibility of learning styles, um, you know, not having them be forced to sit in a classroom with 20 other kids, being quiet, um, and having to focus on, on things that they either already knew or were struggling with. The latest data from the National Center for Education Statistics found that about 5% of kids were reported to be homeschooled, and it showed most parents made that choice because they were concerned about the safety environment or academics in schools. They wanted to provide more moral or religious instruction to their kids, and they wanted more emphasis on family life. It just seemed nice and natural to just be able to sit and do school with them. Robin Spencer chose to homeschool her seven children about 23 years ago. They're doing a lot of the same things that traditional high schoolers are doing. Um, they're not missing any opportunities. Um, they're not being isolated most of the time. It's just sort of like just a different way to do life and education. No matter the reason, these homeschool parents say this is the choice that is best for their children and they're happy they get to make it. Families who homeschool their children may be eligible for a tax deduction. I'll put a link to that and more information on how to pick the best school option for your family on this story on our website. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.